Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. Today I'm going to show you how to do a color shift paint effect. Color shift paints contain tiny reflective particles that will change color depending on the angle they're viewed from. To start with, you'll need a glossy black undercoat. Take a look at the difference between the white and the black here. The color shows up more obviously over the black, and it shows up even better over gloss. This is because the particles need a very smooth surface in order to be properly aligned so that the effect will work. Now I don't own any glossy black undercoat, so I'm going to spray it black and gloss it by hand. I paint a few coats so that it's really smooth. Now to apply the color shift paint. You can either use an airbrush for more precise control or a spray can. I don't have an airbrush, so I'll be using a can of Spaz Sticks Orange Purple Teal. Shake up the can as usual, but hold the spray a little closer than you normally would when priming. Don't overdo it and give it plenty of time to dry before building up the coats. Now normally I don't worry too much about my models chipping and if they do I just touch them up afterwards but you can't do that with a spray can so I'm going to seal this model. Don't use a matte sealant because it will interfere with how the particles scatter the light. You need to use a gloss to preserve the color shift effect. And here's the finished model. So while I was in the process of finishing this model I received from Green Stuff World a couple of their new uh, color shift paint packs. So there's way more colors to choose from here and I'm really excited because apparently you can paint these on manually so I'm interested in giving that a try. I've just got to decide which model I'm going to use them on so stay tuned for a future video on that. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.